Gasoline is a hydrocarbon. Sooner or later, that gasoline is going to evaporate or turn into a, a vapor. But we have to capture it. We cannot let hydrocarbons escape to the atmosphere. So they seal the system so they can't evaporate. And they use the vacuum that the engine creates to draw those vacuums from the gas tank all the way up to the engine. Then it mixes with the air and fuel that's going into the engine, and then they burn it off that way. Therefore, there's no hydrocarbons escaping. Now, because gasoline can evaporate at any time, whether or not the car is running, those vapors can't vent to the atmosphere, so instead they vent to the charcoal canister, and the charcoal will store those hydrocarbons. Now, once they're stored, whether or not the engine is running, that's where the vacuum draws them from. They don't really draw it directly from the gas tank. The vapors go from the gas tank to the charcoal canister, and then the vacuum comes from the engine through the purge valve, goes through the charcoal canister, and that's where it draws the vapors from. So what do they do? They make it airtight by closing the canister vent valve. Now the whole system is sealed tight, airtight. They draw the vacuum. Now that's going to mean a negative pressure. They look at the fuel tank pressure sensor and see the negative pressure. Now that pressure should hold for a certain amount of time, and it can vary with different systems. But it should hold for at least several seconds. If it doesn't, that means we've got a leak. It's not airtight. Now if it bleeds down, it bleeds off that pressure very rapidly, then we've got a large leak. If it bleeds that pressure off very slowly, we've got a small leak. So we can set a code for a small leak or a large leak.